Hello, welcome to the Bikers Travelogue uh, on Revelator Alf. Um, so, just going to take you on uh, another route uh, just now. One of my favourite routes, actually. Um, again, it's in the uh, Oxfordshire Hills. Um, it's a very little used road. It is uh, an actual road. Um, but you'll see when we get there, it's uh, pretty narrow and it's really over overgrown by trees. Um, it's right through the forest, so it's more like a track, but it is actually a road and it goes right up a hill. Um, so there's not a lot of passing places, but it's just one of those um, roads that if the, the, the day is right, the sun's shining through. Unfortunately today it isn't because it's a bit of a dull overcast day, but it's still a great, uh, great route to take. And then I'm going to take you through some of the, uh, the back roads here uh, for Oxfordshire. Um, so, uh, this is what I tend to do on a lot of my days off actually, just get out on the bike and just either on byways, dirt tracks or whatever. Uh, always looking out for um, interesting uh, routes to ride. Um, and then um, some are challenging, some not so challenging. But different times of the year, even these uh, back roads can be quite challenging as well. Um, so always... Um, always wise to you know keep your wits about you anyway so anyway I'll get on the bike and uh, talk you through it cheers so again this is uh, just a route uh, also one of my favorite routes uh, so sort it of takes me uh, into the countryside gets me out and about uh, but some lovely scenic um, some lovely views, lovely scenery, um, lovely little villages to, to ride through and you know you can find this uh, anywhere in the UK of course or, or, or wherever you are you can always find uh, scenic views but I'm just you know within my little local area this is what I uh, tend to try and do just get out there and uh, find different roads to, to ride and um, you know We've all got sort of maps with us these days, or you know, smartphones, or whatever, or GPS. But um, actually, there's nothing like just getting out there and getting lost for a little bit, and uh, then trying to find your way back. You know. But uh, anyway, so we're right. At basically, where I'm, what I'm riding on now, I'm r riding right on top of a ridge line, and it's um, going all the way along. And then I'm basically going to cut down off the ridge, down the hill to the valley floor and then it will slowly build up uh, take me to right on top of the ridge again so it's um, a bit of an interesting route this one ok so there's a left turning coming up shortly so that's a nice track there oh wait a minute, I didn't know what that was that was an interesting one, oh, I have to double back here Where's that? Let me double back here. Let me just see where this... There we go. So this is what I mean when I'm going out and about, actually. This is where you just come across little tracks. You think, oh, let me just go and explore that. I'm looking at my map and it is marked on there. So let's just see what it is before we go out on that other one. Now it could be somebody's private drive. Then you just plead ignorance and you go, oh, do apologise, you know. So this is all pretty cool. Let's have a look at this. So I'll keep it on the road tenty because it does look really quite compact anyway. Um, this could be just. <sighs> Ah, no. Okay. This is not anything, really. Well, there we go. That was a bit of a fail, wasn't it? All right. Oh, no. There we go. All right. Off we go, then. Well, as I say, sorry about that. But I'm going to keep it on this. I'm going to keep this on the video. I'm not, uh, I'm not going to edit it out. There we go. All right. All right. Well, I say that looked promising, but it wasn't. It was just a a track into some forestry that uh, closed off, really. So no point in going down that. Okay. 
So, coming up to the, uh, the left turn now, and then basically we're going to be coming off the hill and then uh, down into the valley floor now. So this area here, just for your reference, is called Ibstone. see it's very narrow down here and it's all still perfectly doable of course and people live down here so it's not exactly uh, the back of beyond and this is a sharp left coming up so, and you can see now I'm going downhill so this is right on the oh fuck Go on up. All right. Whew, that's a bit tight, isn't it? There was no way I was going to be able to get back up that hill. Luckily, there was a little bit of a gap there. Oh, you're kidding me. Any charge you can help us, I'll push it back up. Alright, whoop, whoop. Got it. Alright, pull. Oh. Yeah. It's a bloody heavy one. Jesus Christ. Alright, come on, keep on going. Right, let me get out your way. Uh. Cheers. Now, Right then, well that was a bit of a disaster, I went down the hill, I had to back it up, couldn't uh, switch on a bad incline, lo loosen my footing there, and uh, there's no way I was going to be able to get back up, so I need the guys help to push me, push the bike around. God, that was a nightmare. There you go, I mean, in any kind of bike there, but that was, you know, I'm a big guy, but this bike is so heavy. If it's on the incline, it just, it's just wrong. It doesn't work. Okay. There's a car coming the opposite way. I'm pretty much screwed here. Because there's no way I'm going to be able to get out of their way. There we go. Right, should we carry on with this, uh, with this ride, shall we? Blimey, what a nightmare. Uh, here we go. You're gonna have to, thank you. Have to go back, see a little pass in place. They're going a bit fast, aren't they? Hmm. 
Thank you. Alright. Oh my god. I think there's a reason why I don't have to come down this route. Crikey. Wow. Anyway, so this is not the route <laughs> that I'm on about, which is really nice and scenic. But considering what I've been through already, uh, I think this is uh, <laughs> pretty good. So, that, you know, these rides, you know, this biker's travelogue, it is supposed to be a warts and all type thing. Uh, it is to get out and about uh, on the bike and it's not shying away, it's not trying to make it look all pretty and um, you know all the uh, perfect YouTube uh, videos you know it's it, this is really about just showing what it can be like getting out on the bike um, so hopefully you get a little bit from it uh, obviously you know if you stay away from these these tracks and roads, you, you'll be fine, won't you? But obviously, I don't. So, uh, this is what I tend to like doing. Anyway, so, Turville, uh, to the left, where they filmed um, Rickard Dibley. Uh, to the left, about a mile and a quarter down the road. And we're heading up the road here towards North End. So, it's a Turville to North End track, or to the road. And that's what we're heading up now. So again, so very narrow roads here, um, <coughs> two ways, not one way, you know, I suppose there is a case to try and make it a one way in some sections, but how are you going to do that? I mean, you know, you can't really do that, so you're just going to have to take it really slowly, hopefully people just back up um, where they can. Now left and right here, there's lots of sort of trails and bridleways and stuff like that. Uh, and tracks, uh, you know, for footpaths. So, it's, you know, I've walked around here as well with my dog and, uh, you know, the family. Uh, it's really nice. Uh, you actually go up into the hills. It's totally inaccessible by by uh, public access, you know, motorbikes or, or, or roads. They're private fields, but they've got private uh, footpaths that go all the way into the hills to the left. And that's beautiful, uh, beautiful uh, walk, that is. Okay, so... Let's put the visor down a little bit and hopefully we'll get so much wind noise. And off we go. So this is the uh, track which I'm uh, talking about. You can see that it's totally overgrown by the trees. It's in a bit of a dip anyway. Um, I'm going to take it really slow here because just in case cars come the opposite way, He's already caught me out twice, uh, three times actually, on this other road. So, so uh, what was that? That was a this track. So you can see how all I've got now. I tell you what, coming up here in autumn, it is magical, quite magical, especially on a sunny day. It is lovely. Um, you know, all the, uh, the leaves are just, you know, the browns and oranges, the light shining through. It is pretty amazing, i got to say. And again, a lot of cyclists come down here as well, and they're always coming off. Because, it's, you know, they've got very thin wheels, but they're, um, you know, there's lots of mini ruts and... Uh, Lots of mini ruts and uh, you know sort of slippery bits, and they're just always coming off. So there we go. It's a little passing area, sort of good. Well, at least this has got some passing areas. That other lane didn't have anything at all. There we go. So we've had a bit of rain, so you can see it's quite, still quite damp on there. If you try to go into the forest now <coughs> with road tyres, uh, you know, you'd 
you know, you you get stuck pretty quickly and you find it really hard work. Um, so that's what I'm saying, you know, if you're going to go off-roading, you know, byways and highways, try and find out or only go along the tracks, the byways that are really compacted hard. Um, doesn't really matter if it got puddles uh, so much, but it's, if it's com compact and hard underneath, that's what you want. You don't want to be going through mud or anything like that. Okay, so that's the end of that bit. There we go. So, there's, uh, that's uh, the journey of today. Um, literally, there's I mean, nothing much to say about, but it's uh, going down very narrow lanes. Uh, so what should I call this one? Um, <coughs> narrow lane fail or something, I don't know. But you can see how tough it is. And if you're on a steep incline, which I was, and you haven't got enough room to turn the bike, and it's so heavy as well that you can't even push it up by yourself, you know, <coughs> I mean, it's tough. Right, so actually, what I'll do, head up here. See where we are. Oh, this is a lovely This is a place called Turville Heath. So this is very nice as well. There we go. Village really Hall. It's all very chocolate box around here, isn't it? It's lovely. And back to where I pretty much started earlier on this morning. Okay then. Let's see where this track takes me. And I, I had a feeling the car was coming there. You know, I, I don't know why. I just had a feeling. It's it's going to be the day today. You know, you have those days when you think things are just going to go wrong for you. Today's that day. You know, I'm going to be having cars coming the opposite way. So I suppose it's not much of a drama because I'm half expecting it here. Or well, not even half expecting. I'm expecting it. Um. But there you go. So just pull, let's see if I can find somewhere to pull over here. And here we go. Got some of this driveway there, right? Right then, so that's the uh, end of uh, this uh, biker's travelogue. Uh, so getting out into the narrow lanes, uh, hopefully you got a good view of that, um, that really nice uh, narrow lane going up the hill. Um, it's really cool, one of my favorite routes, that one, all over ground by trees. As I say, in the different times of the year, you get a different riding experience as well. Uh, but at first lane, you can see that it was a, a bit of a nightmare. Um, so, you know, get out in the country. My advice is always get out into the countryside, get onto the back roads. Uh, even if you don't want to get on the dirt tracks or the byways, get onto the back lanes. Just but but be really careful because um, you're going to get all sorts of vehicles. Um, you know, coming the opposite direction. There's just no room um, to um, no room to manoeuvre really. And you see that even there, I, I struggled. And I'm I'm not exactly slight myself, um, but I struggled there, so I needed the chaps help. But anyway, onwards and upwards, and uh, check me out for another bikers travelogue soon. Cheers.